We're in India on a fact-finding mission to research about how education is in India and just to generally see where we can go to try and improve the situation. When we came to Delhi, it was very different from what I thought it would be like. to be an environment where children feel safe and happy and in so many places we visited it's not like that if you're trying to offer an education to your citizens of your country they should at least have the bare minimum of teachers classrooms desks i expect there to be at least like toilets as a basic thing that every school should have but in many schools there are no toilets at all. Anita, a girl we met, talked to us so passionately about how harassment is a key problem in India and how girls should freely be able to go and use the toilets. She was campaigning to try and get toilets in school and get infrastructure and stop boys from harassing girls as she had gone through this and was still at school, but there are many girls who had gone through this and then got taken out of school because their parents thought it was too dangerous or they didn't want to go, which means they then don't get an education. They get married young, have children young, and their life never really gets a chance to move forward. Uh, I उनको मतलब काफी बार बोला वो लड़के नहीं माने तो मैंने अपने घर में बोला तो मेरे घर वालों ने उन लड़कों को कुछ नहीं बोला मुझे ही बोला कि कल को कुछ हो जाएगा हमारी इज्जत तो चल जाएगी इस कारण मेरे घर वालों ने बोला स्कूल जाने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है आप शादी के बाद अपनी पढ़ाई पूरी कर लेना इस वजह से When we were visiting one of the primary schools, I was sat next to a girl that had to bring her baby brother to school. I, I didn't understand how anyone could learn with their little baby brother asleep next to them, looking after them and trying to learn at the same time. She said that she had to bring her brother to school because her mum had to work. There was no other choice. Often, the children go to school and then maybe in the afternoon or the morning they have to work. We met one girl that was knitting a rug and we heard that she only gets one rupee for one blanket. That's not even equivalent to one pence. But the children are forced to work because their parents need them to earn money to support their families. We went to a public hearing where the public get to give their voice and give their grievances about their education system and we, we were invited to give our views and we said we've seen these bad schools where there's big class sizes and poor teaching. India does not have enough teachers. They need 1.2 million more teachers, which is a massive amount. And those teachers will then be able to make class sizes smaller, improve the quality, hopefully, even though we did hear that some teachers only get 20 days training, which is hardly anything before they're thrown in at the deep end in front of a class. I do think that the government needs to take a more active role and increase the funding for education because education is really the road out of poverty. Is education is like the stepping stone into life. So with, with this good education that we have, we get a chance of a good life. But the people in these communities who have a bad education are then on the back foot and don't and aren't able to get a good job. So then they're stuck on very little money That's in very poor housing, which is very just just wrong. <laughs>
We feel really privileged to have experienced such an amazing time in Delhi. We've learnt so much over the short period we've been here. It hasn't been like sad or depressing going to these communities. It's been very, very nice to see how happy people are, even though they may have nothing. And it sort of restores your faith in humanity. When I get back to the UK and we carry on our roles as young ambassadors, we can really have India with us. And this is a real drive to make the campaign proceed forward to try and reach the target of all children in education. We really need to rally the governments to complete their promise of getting all children into education by 2015. Because globally, there are 60 million children who aren't in education, who deserve the chance at life that we all have in Britain.